Hi, and welcome to Heart of the Home. We're here at Meadow Hall at Meadow Event Park in Doswell, Virginia. And we're going to play with some great stuff. We always do play with lots of good food from our local farmers. Uh, today we've got a very interesting recipe. We're going to be making some bread and butter pickles. And we've got all of this stuff came to us from Relay Foods, and I wanted to call your attention to this. This is turmeric. You can get some really neat stuff, but turmeric is what really makes this pickle. And so um, the first thing I'm going to do is cut the ends off the pickles, all right, so that I can get just straight slices. And I'm going to cut each of these into a slice of a mm, between a quarter and a half inch. It needs to be kind of thick. If you cut them too thin, right, they'll get mushy when you cook them. All right. We're just going to throw these in here. They're decent sized chunks, right? But what we're going to do next is sprinkle them with a little bit of salt and a little bit of sugar. So we get some salt and some sugar. Right? And we're going to toss them up a little bit. All right, now these are just going to set off to the side, uncovered, for six to eight hours. So we're going to put those over there. Now I did some earlier, right, and I've got them here so you can see what happens when they've had a chance to set. I can pour that into here so you can see how much liquid was leached out of these cucumbers. So now they're a little bit on the soft side, but they're still crispy. Right? So we've got that over here. Turn the stove on and, and throw these pickles or these cucumbers down in here. All right. A little bit of onions. Right. And I'm gonna I didn't put it in the picture, but I had to put the onions in with the cucumbers and the salt and sugar as well. All right. Now I'm gonna take some vinegar. and some sugar, a couple of cups of sugar. Right. And again, that's going to get stirred up good. And we're going to bring that up to a simmer so that the sugar all melts. All right. And I'm going to add some celery seed and some, uh, that was mustard seed, a little bit of celery seed also. All right. Some black peppercorn, some cinnamon, and this little jewel, which is turmeric. Uh, one of the things I like about Relay Foods, which is where we get all of our food for the show, is that they've got some interesting organic products that you can't just get everywhere. All right. So this is turmeric. You've probably seen it powdered or granulated. And I'm just going to run it on my rasp a little bit all right, to get it small. And it's, this is the key, just like a box grater, the key is to keep your knuckles from getting into the soup. Right. So I'm going to add this to there. All right, stir this around. Now, we do not want to bring this to a boil. We just want to bring this up to a simmer and then cool it down. Okay, this pickle mixture has now just come up to a simmer, getting a little bit of bubbles popping in here. All right. I'm going to cut the heat down some to make sure it doesn't overcook. And just let it cook for about, oh, maybe 10 minutes, just enough to make sure that all the flavors get into the pickle. And we're going to show you how we can store these. Right. Now you can put them in here when they're hot and then put them in the refrigerator or put them in the refrigerator in a larger container, which is what I did. Now, as you can see, we're not, we're not canning these. This is not a sterilization process with heat and the rest of that. These are pickled, which is a different process altogether, but it's just as safe. These will last six months in the refrigerator without too much trouble because of the acid level that's in these. It's very much vinegary product. All right, so we've got bread and butter pickles. 
delicious. This recipe comes to me from my mother, God rest her soul. Um, she used to make these pickles regularly. Um, I don't, hope she's not listening because these are actually better than hers. She had a tendency to overcook. <laughs> so, so we'll see you again next time when we're here at Meadow Hall, Meadow Event Park in Doswell, Virginia, where we get a chance to play with some great products from local farmers that comes to us through Relay Foods. See you next time. Recipes from the heart of the home can be found on the Relay Foods website at RelayFoods.com.